Let's go FFDB46. Pause. People are always asking me, how in the hell do you do that? Because I want to learn too. And, well, I think it's pretty easy. So let me show you. Here's a hex code, 73B3B. And I know off rip. This is Buccaneer Red. But how? Well, each hex code is divided into six digits. The first two represent the red, the middle two represent the green, and the last two represent the blue. But it's one thing to know what the actual digits represent versus actually knowing where they fall on the scale. And here's what I mean. Zero, zero means no intensity, so pure black, like Mr. Popo in the previous video. And FF means full intensity, so pure white. And this hex code in particular it has a red level of 70, meaning it's a medium level of red, so I like to call it a tone red. The green and blue have a level of around 3B, which I like to say is a pretty low level. And I like to call these levels shades. I personally split it up into three categories for easy categorization. When the intensity is A through F, it's a tint. When it's five through nine, it's a tone. And when it's zero through five, it's a shade. So now that we know that, we can now dissect this hex code into three different colors. So Buccaneer Red without the green or blue influence would just be Lone Star Red. Let's take the red out and just put the green back in. Now it's a deep fur green. Do the same with the blue, and now we have a deep cove blue. We put all these colors together, and now we have a Buccaneer Red. And if you're an artist, you're probably like, wait a minute, that's not right. That should make more of a muddy gray color, right? And you're right, but the difference is, color theory-wise, painting uses subtractive color mixing, and in the digital sphere, it uses additive color mixing. But Jared, that still doesn't make sense. How are you able to still guess it in a matter of seconds? And the only thing I can say is, just comes down to practice. So each digit or nibble, if you want to be technical, that word just makes me cringe, has a hierarchy. The first, third, and fifth digits are higher order nibbles, and they pretty much serve as a general gauge for what color will be displayed. And these are fairly easy to guess once you have a pretty basic understanding of color theory. The second, fourth, and sixth digits are lower order nibbles, which are there for specificity and what really gives the color its true individual look. And the lower order nibbles are literally the bane of my existence because they are very difficult to guess, even for someone like me who's been doing it for a while. But over time, the more you practice, you'll start recognizing patterns and how certain numbers produce specific shades. So I'd say just practice, spend time in other color pickers or even spend time doing other things like writing down random hex codes and seeing if you can guess the color. And hey, if you don't know where to start, I've even created a PDF of over 250 hex codes that can be good for a beginner to know. And you can find it in my Discord for free. Just go check it out with the link in bio. Take care.